Good morning, Noah. Noah, how are you, my Beth brother? Beth and Lamont. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Good. Fantastic, thank you. I almost said three, but I guess if you include me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh it's all of us here together. <laughs> right. Oh, it's been a great morning. I tell you, I had an hour of just free time. I ate me, you know, here in the South, we eat the gravy and the biscuit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a nice, healthy yeah. start to the day. You are speaking my language, brother. It I'm is from horrible. Atlanta. My arteries are clogged. I mean, <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh my God. Well, mm -hmm. I did have a breakfast burrito, so, you know. Oh, oh, mm. okay, <laughs> not eating just being not eating, so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and get started because we have a little fun game. To end it, we're, we're going to end this with a bang, so we're going to play a little game. It's okay. called Beat the Clock, some silly thing that I came up with here at iHollywood TV. But anywho, okay. let's go ahead and get started. So 68 Whiskey, hold on, wait, I need to pour my whiskey in. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it is a new comedic drama series that follows a diverse band of Army medics in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. So how did the project come about, you guys, as it seems like something that is really going to appeal to our audience? Absolutely. Um, well, we've got Ron Howard and Brian Grazer at the head of this thing, which automatically tells yeah. you it's going to be a fun ride. It's got action. It's got comedy, drama. Mm -hmm. There's some risque uh, scenes for those of you who appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about the camaraderie and interpersonal relationships that these, uh, you know, these military um, the medics have, the doctors have, all the, the workings inside of that. But also, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's based on a lot of real life experience from, mm -hmm. from real yeah. vets. And that's something that's very authentic and, and great about the show. Oh, I love it. It's got a little some sum for all of us, you know? Indeed. Absolutely. Indeed. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you guys on this being the first series to premiere for Paramount Network's ambitious 2020 scripted slate. You know, how does that feel to be, you know, the first show to debut for the new year, 2020? It felt unbelievable. Feels pretty I mean, good. It's a validation <laughs> yeah. that you, you know, that you're, right. holding, that you're looking for when you put it out there into the world. You don't necessarily know what you're going to get back. Uh, yeah. So to hear those numbers coming in and they're still rolling in, it, it's a good validation for the Absolutely. hard work we put in. Yeah, and the cast and crew, especially, they work so hard and such long mm -hmm. days. So to be rewarded with a, an audience that shows up for you and gives you feedback and appreciates yeah. the energy and time you're putting into this, it's been very rewarding mm -hmm. already. I could not agree more. And you guys had the pleasure to also work with such a youth, fresh group of talent for the series. But, you know, what does the first couple of episodes consist of that we will have our viewers, you know, craving and coming back for more, you guys? Mm. Well, the, the, the way this start. The show starts, like I said, it's coming in hot, or we hit the ground running. I don't know if you can call it running. <laughs> it's a family show, but we hit the ground running. And the beauty of the pilot is everything gets introduced, as a good pilot does, and then the second episode, you start finding a little more about people, why they're there, because this is a volunteer army. So you start finding out why people are there, why they've chosen to stay, their little side hustles they got going, uh, because it's more like when you when you look down the street and realize the neighbor that you thought had it all together is all of a sudden involved in some stuff that you didn't realize, that's what's mm -hmm. happening with our show. Mm -hmm. Because that's the way you can look at it. That's how people can relate to it. The yeah. comedy and the drama balance each other well because the comedy gets you through the drama and the drama reminds you that life is real. So, Absolutely. It, and that's what a good, good show does, I think. It, the ones that I would like to watch, Absolutely. that's what we do. The camaraderie and also people misbehaving. It's kind yep. of fun. And we got a goat. <laughs> oh, I love the two mixture. Oh, a little comedy and drama intense. Oh, what's going to happen next? That's huh? right. Maybe I don't want to swallow this popcorn down the wrong way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. You two, I love you two. I can talk with you all morning long. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, guys. Well, here we go. We're going to play our game now. Oh, my God. Okay. So, okay. no one has never beat the clock. It's, it, like I said, it's something cheesy, Beth and Lamont, that I came up with. But I'm going to ask you questions that I really think the fans want to hear from you guys. Okay. No, I actually just want to hear from you. <laughs> okay. <Either way. laughs> and you have one minute to get seven questions answered. Okay. But I really think the fans are going to love this. Try, try to do it at a fast right. pace. And if you win, I'm going to give you a million dollars. No, Sweet. I'm just kidding. I, I'll, ooh, I'll, I'll buy you some whiskey. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A million dollars. I'm, I'm, okay. I'll quit. No season two for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. What do you think was cool then when you were young but isn't cool now? And go. Jelly shoes. <laughs> Stacks. <laughs> do you have any ridiculous goals in life? I want to... Oh, I don't know. Ridiculous goals? Um, uh, I want to learn how to salsa dance. 
Get over my fear of parachuting or about skydiving. Oh, yeah. If you had one day left to live on the earth, what would you do? Oh, man. Uh, travel with my family? Yeah. One day oh. left? Man. One uh, day left. Skydive. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, if you can know the absolute and total truth to one question. If you can know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask? Ooh. Oh. Oh, he's a horn. Oh man. Oh gosh. If I could get the absolute truth. Yeah. Uh we ran out of time. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, you don't get your whiskey or a million dollars. How oh, dare you? <laughs> oh, oh, that oh, last oh. one was not as easy, okay? Right. <laughs> no, these were hard. That's like, oh, what do you gosh. want God to say to you? Yeah. You know what I, mean? uh, <laughs> I would want him to tell me I was late. Uh, Maybe <laughs> next time we'll pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you one more because this is kind of fun. If you could do so, how would you change the world? Oh, I like that one. Oh, gosh, world peace for sure. And more kinder, right? Mm -hmm. more Just kindness. a simple idea that uh, of justice. Just, it, yeah. Just making sure that the definition of justice is understood by everyone and meet it out that way. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you guys for joining me this morning. 68 Whiskey, it airs on Paramount Network, so be sure to go watch, stream, uh, and let them know how you like it by giving them um, some feedback on Twitter. Yeah, let them know on Twitter or the Instagram, or as Regis Philbin would like to call it, the tweeter. Yeah. <laughs> he used to do tw yeah, Twitter back in the day. Yeah, the tweeter. Oh, I love that guy. We need to get him on. That's Come right. Come on, Regis. Why not? <laughs> Beth and Lamont, thank you. This was a lot of fun. Thanks, Noah. Thank it's you, so Noah. fun. Pleasure to meet you, Take brother. care and have a great week, my friends. You, you too. too. Bye-bye. <laughs>